Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Propeller. The footage you're watching in the background is a uh, time lapse of me building up my tower at the moment and it will move on to the time lapse of me building walls around sort of the city area that I want to work on. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these uh, for a variety of reasons, mainly just facts that I've been quite busy recently so I haven't had a lot of time to actually record stuff as it were. Um, and that's been combined with my laptop being in a state where it doesn't like to stay on when under the load. So yeah, that's been an issue. And unfortunately, if I do that, I lose pretty much the entire footage if that happens or the audio gets corrupted or whatever. And it's made it rather difficult to actually get any footage for this. So yeah, for me recording this has been quite tricky. Um, but uh, there we go. So this footage you're watching is about five hours long. However, uh, thanks to the fact I put it into a time lapse, it's going to be like 11 minutes, I think, uh, based on the maths I did earlier. So it should be pretty decent. And hopefully I'll be able to talk about stuff for like the entirety of it. Um, yes. So I'm imagining I'm still building the tower, but I'm going to talk about my plans in terms of the base as a whole, and you'll probably start to get an idea of that once the walls start going up. Um, the main idea is to split the area around the tower into sort of four sections, so one to the um, southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast, and they're going to be the districts of the city. Uh, they'll have different types of buildings in them, depending on where they are. Uh, I'm not entirely certain which districts I want to have in which places. Um, I know I want to have um, the sort of living areas, so like housing districts of a variety of different sorts. You know, maybe a rich district and a not rich district, and there might be some other things going on over there, but I want that towards the east side, so that's where I've got that extra beacon uh, with the um, nether brick sort of thing around it. Um, so that's going to be the sort of housing area. If you, you know, we actually prepared ourselves a... Um, a kind of roofed area last time. Uh, probably don't remember, but uh, there's a roofed area and that's going to be a sort of um, metro station as such. So a little train track going on there. I don't know where that's going to go. Probably to the other side of the city. Because um, I would also like to have a, um, a docks district heading out to sea. Uh, we'll have to work out how that's going to go. I haven't done a lot planning into that section, but I'm sure I'll go around to it at some stage. And I'll have to do a bunch of cleaning up of different things. So obviously at the moment we've got Alex's old base still sort of lodged inside here. Um, I believe he's going to probably end up moving most of that as time goes on. I have to think about his kelp farm mainly because I don't know whether he's still using that. So I'm going to let him move that um, when he has the time. And then I can start sort of actually properly building up the area. Um, I built the wall through it, you'll find out later, um, but I've tried not to destroy anything where possible. Um, so it's easy for him to change whatever. So yeah, that is that bit. So, um, so yeah, we want to have a living district Probably a sort of work district will probably have like maybe a mine or something or a quarry type area. Probably not functioning obviously because it's Minecraft, but decorative wise that's going to be a thing. We're going to have a financial district and then we're going to have a farming district. So that'll be the four areas that I'm going to go for inside the wall. Um, so the farms will have the sugarcane, the melon pumpkins, whatever, sort of maximized in size and all of that. The financial district will just have a bunch of cool buildings in it. So like, I don't know, like really tall buildings, like maybe not as tall as the big tower, but um, you know, I want them to feel kind of like they're important within the city. So it'd be quite obvious that that's sort of like, you know, where everyone goes to work if they're not miners or farmers or whatever. Um, though of course there wouldn't actually be any farmers probably because they'll be automated. I mean, we will have villager farms there in the farming districts, in theory, so that should be pretty useful, hopefully. 
Um, we've already got the slime farm in the area where I'm thinking I'm planning that to be. Um, so that's the the southwest, um, no, the, sorry, the northwest corner of the thing. I'm doing. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm recording this, I'm currently just like flying around with my spectator cam inside the walls to sort of like help remind myself. Um, if you've seen any of my <laughs> mod videos um, where I'm like showing off stuff, you, you probably know what I mean, where I'm just sort of like flying around for no particular reason, just trying to think about stuff to say. Um, helps to keep me sort of thinking when everything's moving around. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, generally, I'm just going to have everything look rather sort of, um, how would I say, well designed is the plan. So, I, I don't want anything to look like it's sort of been kind of overlooked. So, you know, how a lot of cities may have like a slums or whatever. The plan for this city is everything is perfect kind of thing. And maybe we might do a kind of underground sort of situation. I've had a lot of thought about maybe having like a kind of underbelly to the city where there's all sorts of things that are going on that are not great. Um, so the actual slums is underneath the city. Um, but the people above either don't know about it or don't care enough to actually do anything about it. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't really know. I, I kind of want to have it have a sort of narrative, but I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to go about doing that at the moment. Um, but suffice to say, I, I have quite a few ideas about what I want the city to be and all of that. So it should be pretty cool, I hope, by the end of it. Um, in theory, a lot more of my videos are going to be time lapsey. I would imagine in the future. However, I'm now to think about that because, well, I mean, the problem that I have that you get in vanilla Minecraft um, is that a lot of the things you do is just building really big stuff, and that doesn't really work so well for an episode unless you do like a highlight reel or you just skip over a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but I'm one of the, one of the people who likes to show off sort of everything that happens to some degree. Um, I don't know, I, I just, I feel more comfortable knowing that you guys know everything that happened. So that's why I like doing these time lapses now that I can do them. Um, because it shows off everything within a reasonable length of time that you guys can actually watch. Um, albeit it does have the small issue on my, for me, which is that it makes the five hours of footage feel like, huh, that's not very, um, very good use of my time really to think five hours turns into like 10 minutes or however long you know and potentially five minutes if i made it even faster um you know it's so much time goes into such little actual footage but yeah that's what happens i guess um yeah so, but to see how that really works out um yeah when, I, when i'm building the city i want to make sure everything is you know it looks good i want to Every time I build a building, I want to make sure that building is perfected before I move on to the next building. Um, the walls themselves, you'll notice, don't have very much detailing to them. That will be changing later on. I might do another time lapse of me adding detail to the walls, or I might just do it off camera. I don't really know. Um, it would make sense to follow the time lapse procedure, but all I'm going to do is add a bunch of like stairs around the outside and make the wall have sort of like layers to it. I don't know what the interest would be in that sort of situation. Um, and of course the walls gonna get much taller later on, uh, taller than the inner walls around the tower in theory, maybe twice as tall as that, perhaps, I think is probably what I'm going to go for, <laughs> and I've now got hiccups, brilliant, um, <laughs> Jesus, okay, well, um, I'm very distracted now, brilliant. Uh, what are we going to do? Yes, yeah, so we're going to make the walls taller, we're going to make them more decorative. Um, I want them to sort of like, although they're going to be decorative, because obviously, you know, nothing actually in this game sieges cities, which to be honest is a good thing, um, I think. It's, it wouldn't fit really well with the sandbox idea. Um, I want to make it look like the walls actually 
our proper rules and obviously you know if someone did want to defend the city against whatever you know it could actually functionally do that um but at the same time we've got a bunch of other people on the server currently um so we want it to feel sort of open so they can just come in and you know look around and whatever it's supposed to be a nice place it's not supposed to feel like you're trapped within this sort of you know um rather sort of not nice place I, i'm not really sure how i want to describe that because i'm not entirely certain how i want it to be um but yeah i want it to feel open and sort of you know, like a nice place um that's the thing so if, if you made it through this video up until this point uh, i feel like i should probably tell you that as always the um, propeller server is looking for new members we've recently had a sort of half merge with another server um so we are acquiring lots of new members from there actually we've acquired i think three or four members i think three who have been on a fourth one who hasn't yet been on but we've wide listed them um so if you're interested in joining uh, us on here and sort of you know doing your own thing on the server and then joining in for community stuff which we generally do it's how the structure tends to be at the moment um yeah um uh, we'd be happy to sort of either add you to our discord server so we can get to know you and then you know if we think you're you're a nice person and you know if you don't meet everyone then if we think that you'll get along with them uh then yeah we'll add you and you can be part of this community which is slowly growing so uh, i imagine my timer is pretty much pretty much running out so Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the propeller. It's a bit different to my normal episodes. Um, in previous the two time episodes I did before, I did music. This time I'm talking. Hopefully, it's not boring. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when we will probably be either decorating the walls or starting on one of the districts. So, see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>